Good morning. Tuesday's breakfast is the Instant Butter Grits by Quaker for three points. A Sandwich Brothers Turkey Sausage and Egg White Pita for four points. Banana for zero. So that's all seven. Um, zero point coffee with a tablespoon of Italian Sweet Cream Sugar Free Creamer by Coffee Mate for zero. Half a cup of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk for zero. Two tablespoons of the winter white chocolate sugar-free syrup for zero and then the whipped foam topping for zero so and then i'm on my second thing of water i'll see you later look who i have mommy just wanted to hold her what are you doing it's almost your birthday where are you going oh man i lost her she keeps sitting here like Talking to me like she wants something, but she's been outside. She has water. She got a treat. She did miss banana time, but you were sleeping. What do you want me to do about that? Oh, my tummy's making noises. All right, bye. Hi, guys. Sorry for the laundry in the background, but this is lunch, and it's probably a little hard to see. I have four of the mini taco boats made by El Old El Paso for five points. Then I have a quarter cup of fat-free refried beans for one point, um, you know, spread over the four. Then there's a third of a cup of that um, taco chicken I made, which a third of a cup is one point, so that's spread out between the four. Then I have lettuce, the fat-free cheddar, less than a quarter cup for zero, white onion for zero, and the old El Paso mild taco sauce for zero. So this is five, six, seven for these four. And then I have 15 of the baked scoops for three that I'm gonna have some salsa with for zero. So this is 10 points, five, six, seven. Yeah, 10 points for lunch. And I'll probably have a yogurt as a snack later. See ya. Good afternoon, guys. It is 4.45. I just finished work and I put a snack together and it's so beautiful, I wanted to show you. I'm gonna have a little strawberry parfait, fruit and yogurt parfait. So the components of this are one Dan and Light and Fit Greek vanilla yogurt for two points, then a quarter cup of this Kashi Goline Crunch for two points, and then strawberries. So this is a four point snack. I'm going to have this and then I need to run to the grocery, why, why? I need to run to the grocery store um, to get some lettuce so that we can have salads with dinner tonight and then come back hopefully bikini body mommy will be up um, the cardio her power went out or something so the, or not or something it did happen um, so she wasn't able to get the cardio up the cardio video up for week two so I'm hoping by the time I get home it'll be up so I can do it because I I mean yes you can do last week's but I don't know. I don't. I just feel weird about that. I want to like do the exercise I'm supposed to do. Um, I also need to make more of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch dressing, so I probably should do that before I leave because I like it to, to be super chilled, so the flavors can like meld together before I use it. So, anyway, I'm gonna have my snack, make my dressing, go to the grocery store, and I'll be back later. Bye. Hello people, just checking in. Update, I decided to work out and do our walk now. 
it is 5:40, so I just completed um, day nine, I guess, of Bikini Body Mommy. The cardio didn't come up for this week, so I just did the cardio from last week. So I did day nine, and uh, we decided to take our little walk. We're at the jog park. Marley's running around. Right, right. And once we get home, I'll um, go out to Publix. What are you doing? Hey. What you doing? Oh, fine. Just, just not interested. You want some water? So, I will show you dinner when it is done. I am so excited about this dinner. I'm making Mexican stuffed shells. Yay! Yay! See you later. All right, guys, I am making Mexican stuffed shells for dinner, so I figured I would show you what I'm using. Um, that way if it turns out great you guys can use it too So for this recipe you will need and I'll put the exact recipe the link to the recipe um, And what I used down below and the amounts and what points it came out came out to You need jumbo shells lean ground beef. I chose the 93% you could do 97% and of course that will reduce the points even more taco seasoning you could make your own but I Just did that um, 10 ounces of enchilada sauce, a cup of salsa. Um, the recipe doesn't call for fat-free cream cheese, but I just picked it up because I knew that would lessen the points. So you need four ounces of cream cheese. Um, you need a cup and a quarter of cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna use the fat-free because holy cow, if you use regular cheddar, it racks up the points. Um, I am gonna use normal mozzarella. You need a half a cup of that. Um, because it doesn't like add as much points as this does for some reason. And then you also need some yellow onion, half of a yellow onion. I picked up some tomatoes and also some cilantro to add to it. Uh, so yeah, I will show you when it's, huh? <laughs> when it's done. I am just boiling water right now to put the shells in. I will cook the meat and then, um, we will get going. Okay, so while my pasta is boiling, I went ahead and put 20 shells in, um, thinking that some might break. So that's in there. And then I have my ground beef and my onions cooking over there. So I am going to take, whoa, <clears throat> the can of the red enchilada sauce. It's in here. And then I'm going to take a cup of the salsa, mix it up in there. And this will go on the bottom of the pan and then after we put all the shells in. So I'm gonna add that and I'll be right back. All right, my shells are done boiling. So I just have them over here cooling. Two of them did break, so perfect math, yay. Um, and then over here, my I drained my taco meat, um, well, my meat, and then I added the taco seasoning to it. The recipe says two tablespoons, but when I took two tablespoons out of that packet, there was like just a little bit left, so I just poured the whole thing in there. And then, over medium heat, you should put four ounces of your cream cheese in your taco meat. <clears throat> four ounces, melt it through over medium heat, like I said, hello. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have, it looks disgusting, but it smells really good. I have the um, cream cheese all mixed into the ground beef and onions. And then I poured, you're supposed to pour half of the enchilada and salsa mixture on the bottom. Then put a heaping tablespoon of this mixture into each shell. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I will be right back. Just wanted to show you guys what my heaping tablespoon looks like. And I have one more shell to fill. This would be 18 shells total once one goes right there. So it all worked out perfectly. Ooh, it smells so good. All right, so after you filled all of your shells, you take the remaining salsa and enchilada sauce mixture and pour it over the top. Then you wrap this in foil, bake it in a 350, 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Then you take it out, put the cheese on top, and then bake it, I think, for another 15 minutes. But I will show you once it comes out of the oven. Okay guys, I have six minutes left on that first bake. So what I did was take the half a cup of mozzarella and then a cup and a quarter of the fat-free cheddar. Just put it in here, mix it up. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit more. 
when it's coming out of the oven, um, I will then put this on top. Of course, take the foil off, put this on top, and then put it back in the oven for like I think 15 minutes with no foil on it. Um, and then it will be done. I can't wait. All right, guys, here it is out of the oven. I had one casualty. <laughs> the shell got stuck to the foil, and as I lifted the foil up, the innards came out. So, now, I'm gonna put this on, bake it for 15 minutes, and then it's done. Yay! Guys, here it is out of the oven. A serving size, uh, I made it so that there would be six total servings, three shells per serving, and I believe nine points for three shells. The app is down right now, so I can't check it, but I'm almost positive that's what my recipe made. Of course, I will have it all down below, like I said, so check that out. There will also be the link for the recipe um, down below. Don't trust her calculations because I can't figure out how she made that happen. Um, so anyway, with what she reported she used, I just, she doesn't really specify, so I will put all the stuff that I use down below. Okay. So I'm going to have three shells for nine points. And then I'm going to add some tomatoes, cilantro. I'm going to have a salad for two points, but I will show you when it's plated. All right, guys, here it is. I am so excited. Three of the shells for nine points. I added some cilantro and some tomato on there for zero. And then my salad is just romaine with white onion. No, yellow onion, it doesn't really matter. Tomatoes. For zero. Oh, there's also some fat-free cheddar on there for zero. Then two smart points worth of croutons. No, golly, one smart point worth of croutons. And then two tablespoons of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch dressing for one point. So this is two points. Dinner is 11 points and I will let you know how it is. Y'all, that dinner was so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have to make it. Um, come here. My mama PJs, took a shower. Um, so anyway, the dinner was amazing. Holy cow, so good. And the app is down right now, but I believe I had four points left after dinner. Um, so I had two points worth of sugar-free popsicles, and I'm going to have this bag of the Sinalicious Swirl. It's my last one. Oh, they're so good. I'm probably gonna stock up this weekend. Um, so that will bring me to 36 for 36. I did have an apple once I got back from the grocery store and in between making dinner. So, um, I definitely hit my water for today. I haven't hit my 8,000, I mean, 5,000 is really my goal. Ugh, I'm trying to do this, but it's not working. I'm at six, eight, eight, eight <laughs> steps. Um, so yeah, that is the vlog for today. I'm closing it out tonight. I'm gonna put all of the recipe information down below. If you make it, please let me know. Super delicious. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.